Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. You might recognize some of these bottle brush tree projects from my last video. And I wanted to share with you guys today a couple more projects that I'm doing using similar trees. And I'm gonna include at the end of this video all of the prices that I sold most of these projects for in the last two weeks. I can't believe most of them sold already, um, but I do wanna share that information with you later on. So today for a bottle brush tree centerpiece, I'm just using this thrifted box. I paid, I think a dollar for this at a yard sale over the summer and I'm just going to be making a centerpiece using four different styles. I feel like there's a few different ways you could go with this wooden box right here. I would say this is more of a minimal approach to the bottle brush trees. Now the only problem with this one, as pretty as it is, is that it takes up a lot of trees. So this is almost two whole packs of those um, bigger box sets from, home, from Hobby Lobby. But since I got them on 60% off, this is still only about uh, $14 altogether for this centerpiece. But to me, this one is a little bit more primitive and a little bit more minimal. This version feels still very minimal, but I did add a little bit of the snow into the bottom. I feel like I prefer this one. It just kind of ties everything together a little bit more. And this version is just a little bit more festive. I added in the miniature ornaments to add some color. Still very simple, feels still very minimalistic and everything. So I think that this would go with most people's decor. I really like how this one turned out and I think it'd be so nice in the center of somebody's like rectangular long dining table. Okay, this one is officially my favorite. So I took out the little ornaments and I swapped it out for these mini pine cones. Some of them are flocked like this one and some of them are just plain. And then I stood them upright so they're kind of in the shape of the trees. And I think it just filled in the gaps really nicely. It complements the wood. So again, still very like minimal and primitive looking. Um, but I think this one looks a little bit more upscale with the pine cones. Uh, yeah, I love this one. Look how cute that is. And here's just a quick look of all my bottle brush tree pieces all together. So the centerpiece box is along the back side there. Um, it'd be so good for a mantle or like I said before, a dining room table. So I'm excited to put that in the booth. And then next up I have these um, kind of goal pieces that I got last year at the Purple Ottoman. I just love the look of these bottle brush trees and these antique um, banister pieces and uh, probably like a headboard piece is my guess. I love the mixture of the brush with that old wood and I really wanted to try something to replicate this and so I've been looking around and I finally landed on these candlesticks that my mom was trying to sell in our antique booth green onion vintage and so she just let me take those home so I could craft with those since they weren't selling on their own in the booth so this was just a matter of drilling a hole into the candlestick and using some hot glue to make it nice and sturdy I got each of the trees for three dollars at the target dollar spot um, so all in, I have about $4 of materials. I used some ribbon at the end that I just had on hand um, in some of my various places that I store ribbon in my house, which seems to be everywhere. And this is how they turned out. So they're super cute, um, very, very affordable. I still like the purple ottomans more because these candlesticks aren't actually old. And of course I like the brown of the wood more than the black, but I do think that these turned out really nice and I would like to keep making more of these and I will definitely be thrifting for pieces that will work for this in the future. And then off camera, I just did a couple more trees. I didn't show you step by step because I feel like these are pretty self-explanatory, but these trees I got from Hobby Lobby's clearance section last year. So they were only a couple dollars each. And then I had these canisters in my house. Um, so those were basically free and I know I thrifted both of them. So even when I bought them, they were probably a couple dollars. I added some pine cones for the one in the brass and then some red ornaments for the one in the canister. And I just think they turned out super cute and it only took me a few minutes to put these together. Okay, and now moving on to everything that sold in the last two weeks since I put all these projects into my antique booth. I do think posting my antique 
booth store tour helped. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, make sure you go back and do so. But the brass canister is one of the first things that sold and I only asked $10 for it. So that's pretty cheap, but I would rather sell it at this point than store it for next year. And since I got everything thrifted and very cheap, it, it was very affordable for me to make that craft and then be able to sell it at a good price. I also sold both candlesticks almost right away. They were only in the booth a couple days. I only asked six for the smaller and eight for the larger. Again, most of these materials were really, really affordable for me. And so I was happy to offer that affordable price onto my shopper. And then if you watched my other bottle brush tree video from last week, I sold a lot of those projects also. Um, the dough bowl that you see here was one of the first things that sold and I asked 22 for that one. Um, so that was a pretty good price for me because I didn't pay anything for the bowl and then the trees were just a few dollars. I also sold this arrangement in this really cute basket that I thrifted for I think a dollar or two. Um, and I sold that one for $24. Um, so again, another pretty good price. Um, this one has a couple bigger trees in it. So if I broke down the price, I would say it probably had about five or six dollars in materials. And then so far I've only sold one of these Christmas mugs with the tree in them, in it, and I am asking ten dollars each for those. So again, pretty happy with that. I also sold the centerpiece that I made in today's video. It has the pine cones though and not the ornaments like in this picture and I was able to sell that one for $34. So I was really happy with that. The trees are kind of pricey, but the box was only a dollar. And then if you watched my video a little ways back when I did the outside tent event, I made this wreath with you guys there and I was able to sell that for $32. And that's everything. I mean, that's not everything that I've sold, but that is everything that I featured in my videos recently. So I just wanted to share you guys a little update about what's been selling for me. Um, so it's actually been a fairly good month, especially for my handmade things, because that can go either way in my booth. So I never really know how that's going to go. Um, and this is just a look at those pieces in my booth. And if you missed that video, um, I will post it down in the description box. It was just from a couple weeks back. So if you want to take a look at my booth, you are welcome to do so there. And that's everything for today's video. I will have more videos coming out shortly. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.